Welcome to Code Slate. In this lesson, we'll see HTML forms in TimeLeaf with the implementation on the back end as well, which can handle the, our post request from the forms. So TimeLeaf comes with several special attributes to handle the forms. So those are the, we'll see those attributes. One of the attributes is th field used for binding input with properties that comes from the backing bean that is our spring boot then th errors then th error class and th object this is a special attribute that timely provides for handling the forms. So we'll see some of the fields in our lesson. Let's start with, let's start with uh, an index page. I'll go have an example where we can create an employee. Uh, when we fill the employee form and submit, we will we'll go to the backend. We'll handle as a post request in the Spring Boot. So let's start building that. So a form starts with starts with the action this is an action for the form and let me explain that this is an action the employee is an action that has to be performed will be performed as in the in spring boot sense it is an api that is employee url or the api will be called in the or controller class. This is a backing bean that is an employee bean which will be sent back to the post request. And the method which we obviously it is a post method which will be called when I submit a form. Okay. So let's uh, this is a form. So before creating the fields in the form, we have to create a backing bean. Let's create a backing bean. New class employee but I want to keep it as a model I just move to the package then I have want to add few fields like ID name and department these are the three fields I want to add for my to my employee let me generate getters and setters for all the fields it's a, I'm just creating the backing bean and just let me create a two string as well yeah so my backing bean is ready And this is an employee which we will be using here. So the employee which the bean will fill and then send it to the controller. So let me create the fields. First field. Here. label input uh, the type will be the text and type will be text and if you see here there's the field type of the text and the field we are using the field which has same which is assigned to id which comes from the employee if you go back to the beam this id will be filled so when i say this is this is mapped to id of the employee and the object is employee id so this is a, just a placeholder um, it can be anything it's nothing to do with this form 
So similarly, I'll add the employee name and just paste for employee. Yeah. So same, same as employee. The the uh, employee name it is mapped to the employee name field of the employee, and then department department name is department is mapped to the department. Then I'll add the button for I put just type submit so the value submit we'll see how these actions can be used later but for now we'll use a submit button which is used to submit the form so this when i fill the values for id name and department and then click submit it will call the controller so we need to have a controller for both post method which can handle before that we'll start with the our index page that is we'll have a empty when i when i load the page it should be it should fill something so that is empty employee employee i'll send an empty empty employee So when the first time the index page is loaded, this method will be called get method is called. But when I click the submit, the post method is called. So I need to write two methods. So add employee. This is a post method I want to write. post method and if you carefully see i'll have a post method with path set as the employee because this is a path that i'm using in my html page so i need to resolve the dependencies if you see here we will go back to the index and see so if you see here the path is employee it can be anything so the same thing has to be decorated in the method on the post method so so i need to return so what i'll do is i'll just when they when i submit i'll just print that okay before that i need to get that i, I need to get that employee because I'm saying it will be filled by an employee object will be filled and then send it to this method. Okay. So I'll just fill the contents of the employee because I already have the two string method. Return. So I'll just return when when the employee even submit form is submitted. I'll just return the success message. I will be writing shortly the success message. At the same time, I want to reset. Reset. Either I can do success uh, reset the to new employee. You can write anything here. We can we can prefill or. This is not needed actually. Actually, this is not needed because we are we are redirecting to the success. So just we are printing the employee, whatever is returned back from the submit, and then just printing. I'll just save all these things. And we need as as I said, we need success. So let me go and create a success. I'll just copy this. Copy. So instead of 
I just created success. So this is a page will be called after the add in the M. I'll just have these so I'll just have these message here saying that successfully added employee. Do you want to add another? And let me finally check everything. Yeah, we are returning index at the start. Uh, this when the application is loaded or when you point to the base path and then we return success. Just learn that. Let's test our application. Yes. So this will load the form with placeholders, name and department. So it can be anything. I'll just add finance. Then when I submit, we are printing. See here, we are printing the employee with this employee that we have submitted employee id to your name and department and then we are we are redirecting to success page so this success page will be displayed okay we can add another go back to the index page and then submit so this is how the this is how the, the form works we can fill the we can have the bean mapped to the bean the object is mapped to the bean the name this name should be same as that one um, so same as this name so we are forcing that employee and then we are printing that and then so this employee name is same as the action which this is same as the action which is mentioned in the index.html this action so it should be same and then we can map the fields of the bean by mapping bean with the th field and this is the object that is filled and written when we click on this submit that's it end of this lesson thanks for watching we'll see you in the next lesson